Okay, for those of you who use uh, something like Movie Maker for anything creative, I thought I'd show you this little app called iDownload Plus. It's a brilliant little app that allows you to um, scout the internet basically for free sound effects and download them so that you can add them to your iMovie project. So you need to go into the um, App Store to get it first. It's uh, free. There is a paid version. I'm not sure exactly what more it gives you, but download it and you'll see where you go from there. When you've downloaded it onto your desktop, you simply click it here and uh, it opens up. So you'll see here that when you uh, open up the app, it actually opens as a browser within the app, and uh, that is where you, it allows you to search. So we're going to go for this search tool here, and I'm just going to search for, let's say, an eagle sound. And within the browser, it will uh, do the search for you, and it will come up with all these different um, examples of the eagle sound. So I'm going to go for this cinematic eagle cry. It's got four stars. Uh, great. Let's see what it's like. And what it'll do is it'll open it up for me, and as you can see here, uh, I can see the waveform. Uh, if you press on the little uh, arrow button there, it allows you to play it, hear what it sounds like, etc., etc. And at this point, I should tell you that you probably need to create your own account. Now, it's free to do, but uh, that allows you to download files uh, to your own sort of area. Uh, it's a file area that you can basically store all these mp3s uh, and you'll need to do that if you want to add them to your iMovie projects. So what we do is we press this download button and if we keep it hold down it uh, gives you various options. I'm going to go for the download button and this dialog comes up which tells me um, what I want to call it. I can change the name of it if I want and also you can see where I'm going to save it. I just tend to save it to files and then click done. Once you've pressed done it will take you back to uh, back a screen but you'll be able to see that the file has been completed there. Another little thing to notice however is our next stage which is down here the file manager um, because if you click the file manager then you'll be able to see your file. So here you can see a bunch of the files that I've downloaded. Uh, the one I just did was the Cinematic Eagle Cry, so I'm going to click that. And it comes up with all the details uh, about it. It gives me the facility to upload it to Dropbox, to email it to somebody. The one I'm actually going to use is the Open With. Because when we click that, it then gives us a whole load of different applications within the iPad that we can uh, open it with. So in this instance I want to click iMovie. And when you click iMovie it opens iMovie itself and asks you where you want to use this file. So I've got a variety of existing projects there. I'm going to put it in this My Project one. So I click that. And the project itself opens and you can see I have managed to put the file down here at the bottom. Now from here I can move it around the place uh, anywhere that I particularly want. And equally, having moved it around the place, it also gives me exactly the same uh, options uh, as you would any sound file in iMovie. In other words, if I just hold my finger down on it, I can increase the clip settings uh, and I can fade it in and out as well. Or I can just delete the clip. And that's basically how you use this to add all sorts of nice effects and sound effects into your iMovie projects. And then you just edit them as you would any normal iMovie project. Anyway, hope it's useful. Bye-bye.